Okay, guys, first of all, uh, who are Tommy and, and Lady Rose in the story, if you'll introduce them to us? So Tommy Stubbins, he doesn't really have a good home life, um, and he's quite a shy boy to begin with. Um, he doesn't really have many friends, so he seems to turn to insects and animals to sort of become his friends, which I think is quite nice. And animals are a little bit like his freedom, in a way, yeah, and I think going on this journey with Doolittle really helps his personality grow and, and become something bigger. Uh, Lady Rose is lady-in-waiting to the Queen, and her job is to persuade Dr. Doolittle to go with her to Buckingham Palace the, to save the Queen. Um, for both of you, had you read any of the books before you got the part? Had you seen previous... I mean, we've had Rex Harrison, we've had Eddie Murphy, we've had a number of TV versions. Had you seen versions of the story before? I actually haven't. I mean, I was going <laughs> to read the books because I know Tommy Stubbins is in some of the books. So I was going to try and get an idea of what he's like, but I thought just go in there empty-handed and do my own interpretation of the character. And it worked, so I'm really proud of that, yeah. I read the Hugh Lofting books. I read one of the books um, just to be able to see, you know, what I'm going into. And I watched the Eddie Murphy film after we finished filming because they're obviously very different. Um, obviously, it's a film... There's one or two effects in the film. One or two CGI creatures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> one or two things. Um, how was it sort of dealing with that situation? How much experience have you both had with that sort of thing? I mean, I'd, I'd had no experience with yeah. CGI really whatsoever. Um, animation a little bit, but like not anything like acting to nothing. I'd had no experience really. So it was quite challenging, but it's cool to do something new. So. I'm exactly the same. I didn't have any experience before this, so it was really cool. Um, by far, the, probably the biggest special effect is Robert himself. Uh, you're sharing the screen with Robert Downey Jr. What is that experience like for you know younger actors who are sort of starting their careers, going up in their careers? How is it just sharing the screen with him? He is so lovely. He's so dedicated to his craft. You could really tell that he had so much fun filming it. And he really made sure that Harry and I felt comfortable and that we knew what we were doing and that we were happy which, you know, we really appreciate. And, yeah, it was just so much fun to be with. It's amazing to, like, be in a movie with an icon, um, and it, it's amazing to see that. And, uh, like, Carmel said, he's, he's lovely. He's like a friend to both of us, which is really nice. Um, going back to the annals for a second, I know there were physical representations uh, on set. There were people puppeteering. There were people physically performing things like Yoshi the polar bear. What was that experience like? Was it surreal for you? Yeah, I, th I think it was It was quite surreal because I, I sort of went in there, I didn't really know what to expect. And going in there, I, I thought it was going to be easy, like acting to nothing, because that's sort of what my job is. <laughs> but, I, but it wasn't because I've got to think of the height of the animal, the way it moves and everything. So it's quite challenging. But yeah, I think it's nice to see the end product and how nothing be is becoming something. Yeah, exactly the same with me. I had to, there was one scene where I had to talk to like a stick spider and it was literally just like a green dot, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is so funny, but it was such a great experience. And again, it, like Harry said, it was so beautiful to see at the beginning how it was just a rough animation to now how much it's developed. So. Um, how was it working with Stephen as a director? I know this was a little bit his first time working with sort of more of a family film. He'd done a lot of dramas, a lot of thrillers before. Um, what was he like as a director for you guys? It was so much fun working with him. He, he's a perfectionist like, like me, so yeah. definitely, I mean, after every single scene, I mean, I'd always run up to my mum and be like, was that okay? Should, should I have done that better? But, um, but it was fine because Stephen really made sure that we'd be able to like do it to the best of our abilities and so yeah and he had faith in us from the very beginning I mean obviously we hadn't had much experience before this film so the fact that he was able to really believe in us really means so much. Um, what are you hoping people take away from the movie? I mean, it's, it's a movie that has messages it doesn't try and sort of really drive them into the ground, but it has messages, it has themes. What are you hoping people, you know, go into the movie, take away from it? I think just have as much fun as you can as soon as you walk into those doors. Just enjoy it as much as you can. It's something that's magical and, and different in a way. Even though we've seen it before, it's, it's so much different to the previous ones. I think just go and have as much fun with it, with it as possibly as you can. Bring as much people as you want. And <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's really cool.
Yeah, I mean, this film is really for all ages. It's a, it's a family film, and you really feel like you're going on an adventure. And this film, I think, it's a lot about acceptance, you know, especially yeah. with Stubbins and Doolittle. It's learning to be able to accept yourself and appreciate yourself for who you are and appreciate others as well, which I think is such a beautiful message. And d everyone should go see it, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if the two of you could, could talk to any animal, what animal would you want to chat with and what would you want to say? Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> I think probably a wolf. But I don't know what I'd say to it, that's the thing. I don't, I'm, yeah, like Carmen was saying previously, like, probably what, what it was like it like to, to be, be a wolf? wolf? Yeah. That's something like that. But yeah. I probably want to talk to maybe I think a dolphin would be pretty cool because they're really sophisticated and smart and they know their way around. So it would be really fun to be able to talk to a dolphin. Um, what did you want to bring to the characters? Obviously, you know, you, you get the roles, you have the script, but you're actors, you're, you're trained to bring things yourselves into it. Was there something in particular that the two of you wanted to just add into your characters? Um, I think that it was nice because Stephen actually let us put our own ideas into it as well. Like, there was a part where a dragon uh, passes some wind and then I say, don't worry, nobody heard that. And that was me, and it's nice to see that be incorporated into it. And I think with me and Lady Rose's relationship, sort of like a, we've got something a little bit romantic going on, so I think it's nice to have some fun with that, and we did have a lot of fun with yeah. that on set too. And I mean, Lady Rose, she was never in any of the books, so it was so mm. fun to be able to bring my own input into it and to really play around with her, which is so much fun. Um, when you get... Um, a script like this, how did you react when you're told, oh, by the way, you, you've made the film, you, it's down to a couple of people, but you've, you've won the role. How, how did you react? Oh, I'm... I had no words. <laughs> I was just, I was in the car at the time, so, and it was on the Bluetooth thing, and I was just like, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I, just, I can't believe it. I really didn't think I was going to get it, and it, it, it's so awesome to be a part of it as well, and I, 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 I still have no words now. It is honestly amazing. Yeah, I was also, I was in school when my mum found out. And so my mum, my parents wanted to tell me in person. So I remember like my dad said something to my mum, like, like he whispered to her, like, we need to tell her. But I didn't know if that was a good thing, like if I got the role, if I didn't get the role. So I was like, okay. And so we all went in and my parents were like really trying to like drag it on, be like, so, you know, you worked so hard on this film and yeah, and, then, and you got the role. And I was in just, complete shock. I couldn't believe it. I was so happy. We all just started crying. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking? 27 people died, including the director and cinematographer, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice off the coast of Newfoundland. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.